Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got a new kit from Trumpeter. This one is the M1078 uh, or 1078 LMTV Armored Cab, or Armor Cab. Um, this one is in 135th scale. It's obviously a plastic kit. The Trumpeter designation is 01009. And let's crack it open, shall we? Okay, well, in this one... Uh, just to give you a kind of a preview of the way I'm doing these newer reviews, I'm going to go ahead and do an inbox video portion, just basically showing what's in here. And then we'll do a detailed photos on the, the latter part of the video so you can take a look, and then I'll come back for a little brief conclusion. But um, let's go on with the uh, the, in, the unboxing portion, shall we? The cab's included here in a little... Okay, here's uh, the, uh, the cab portion. Uh, I'm not sure how well I'm going to capture it here on video, but we will have photos of it as well. Uh, see, the video sometimes just don't want to focus. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you can see some nice detail with this, um, if the camera would stop refocusing, um, but it uh, looks pretty good. And uh, we'll move on. We've got some tires here. This one comes with five rubber tires. Uh, I'll get some better photos for you later on that, obviously. Um, and uh, here's the first uh, two sprues. This one's got, looks like different different parts in it. Uh, the, the back bed. Um, various suspension parts, um, internal, uh, or excuse me, uh, underneath kind of suspension and drivetrain components. And then here's uh, some parts probably for, again, internals, uh, on the, maybe on the back storage area, some various little bars there and so forth. And then we have, uh, this is the road wheels. Um, this one's uh, sprue... Wow, really hard to read. Uh, sprue, really hard to read. Uh, and then we have uh, this one. This has got a steering wheel and various other little components. Um, internal, I think those are the seats. And then we have uh, a little protected piece here. I'm not sure. It's a couple of protected areas here. I like the way Trumpeter is doing that. And uh, this is obviously more little uh, various, uh, various components. Uh, and then we have some front, some of the front cab pieces here with more drivetrain underneath suspension. Um, this is armored underneath, I can tell, obviously, part of the armored cab, probably for um, IUDs and so forth. And here's some of the side doors and uh, front cab, and again, a different, slightly different front end there, I believe. Unless I'm just, uh, maybe that's the back part. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. And it looks like we have a fairly large decal sheet here, uh, which uh, is probably covered, so again, we'll have better photos. Uh, another... Photo etch, uh, I believe, single photo etch sheet. Um, again, more photos for that later. And then the clear plastic uh, windows and so forth, uh, headlights. And the manual, which I'm sure is a fairly standard uh, trumpeter manual, step by step. Um, does include a parts overlay on the first page and basically a, a, just a run through. And uh, Getting to the end here where it's fully built out. And they do include a color uh, print here with um, some of the decal positions and markings, I'm sure, as well as uh, color and camouflage. This one does have a camouflage pattern on the back bed. And then they have a painting and marking guide for more of a desert version. So they have two different versions here. They do include paint uh, colors here for Mr. Hobby Vallejo. Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbrol. Uh, but I'll go ahead and from this phase, we'll go to the uh, photography section. And like I said, we'll even take some, a look at some of the close-up shots.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the photos uh, of the uh, the kit. It looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, interesting little build, and obviously it fits a unique niche in modern uh, transport and uh, um, either uh, Iraq or Afghanistan, probably uh, kind of uh, scenarios. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that again. I hope you enjoyed the photos. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And uh, thanks again to Stevens Distributing for this uh, sample.